Hey, this is Eric with Ticket Spice, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to replace WePay as your payment processor and to use the brand new WebConnex Payments service as your payment processor for all of your events. So there's a few steps here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add the new WebConnex Payments processing service into your account, and also how to replace WePay on any existing ticketing pages. A separate video, I'll go through all the verification process that you need to receive payouts and the payout instructions. But for here, in this video, the very first thing we wanna do is to add WebConnex payments. And to do that, I'm gonna go over the gear, then to payment processors. And here we see WePay, here is my default payment processor and it's tied to nine published pages. So we need to change that and we're gonna hit add payment processor. Then we're gonna go over here to credit card and then we're gonna select from the provider list, WebConnex Payments. It's gonna require a reference name, and so you can have this be WebConnex Payments or any other reference label you want. Then you're gonna hit Next, and now this is going to ask for certain information about my organization. The very first thing you see here is the legal business name. This should match whatever is on your tax return. The legal entity type here is going to be an organization if you're an LLC or a nonprofit or C Corp. If you're a sole proprietorship, that's fine too, but you're gonna choose organization there. And then the industry code, this is not exactly the, the industry that your organization is in, but more of the industry of your events and your purposes. So review this list and choose the kind of events you're hosting. So you wanna choose that from this list here. And then you're gonna complete the information below here and then you're going to hit save. So let me complete this here and we'll move on to the next step. All right, I have my organization information filled out and then we're gonna hit save. And give it a quick second, it's just gonna take a second here and then it's going to guide me into the verification process and the payout instructions. So in here, you have the company details, the decision makers, payouts, and then a couple brief PCI agreements here. So I'm gonna cover this entire process in a separate video and go back to the platform here. And that is the very first step that we have here. And so uh, you can come back here and you can hit the complete onboarding process there and we'll set out the payout instructions. But right now, I've completed the very first step. But notice here, I've got nine published pages that I need to get over to the new platform here. And to do that, we're gonna go up to pages and then you're gonna go edit an existing page in your account. And once this opens up, we are going to go over to settings and then we're going to go to payment methods. And in here, we can see that we have a credit card processor by WePay and we're going to delete it. It's gonna ask me to confirm to delete. And then we're going to add the payment method here. And we're gonna choose WebConnects Payments and we're going to save. And so now that is on there and I can now publish. And now with that, my new ticketing page is now routed to use WebConnects Payments and I can start taking payments right now. Until I complete the verification process, I won't be able to receive payouts, but that's okay and I'll cover that in my separate video. But for now, this helps you understand what you need to do to replace WePay, to add WebConnects Payments in, and how to update all your ticketing pages. So be sure for any existing and open ticketing pages that you're selling for, you go in and remove WePay here and you replace it with WebConnects Payments. So there you have it. I'll catch you on the verification video.